Alright, I'm about to go do some bait fishing jigging for a fluke. The Jones Beach. It's, rain, it's raining at 25 miles per hour winds. I'll be here for the next 8 hours, hopefully. Yeah, I think I'm ready. Got my rain gear. Pretty crazy right now. I don't know if you guys can see it. one-fifth a mile down to my spot it's nice man I love it I love it man I'm a savage I think I'm ready it's a little bit heavy but whatever let's go get down there before it gets late go okay it's not too heavy oh. <laughs> let me put some bait maybe Maybe six, maybe six or seven pounds of ice in the cooler. This might be overkill. Do I expect to catch a lot of fish? Yes. Will I catch a lot of fish? Only God will know. That's why I said, Ugh, gotta stay in shape. Gotta carry off this shit. Oh, there's, there's a lot of birds, so there's a lot of sand crabs here. Uh, okay, the water's pretty high. So hopefully by the time I bait up, it doesn't go down too much, because high tide is good at this time to get some bait fish. Like, I don't know if I should just stay here. or go back to my original spot, you know? It's hard to, it's really hard because I don't want to walk all day. Shit. I never tried this spot, but I want to go back to my lucky spot. <laughs> I don't know how deep the water here is. I like the water nice and deep. <sighs> Might want to set up over here. It's still, it's, I mean, not a long walk, but shit. This flounder here. Oh, so it's such a tough choice. Do I walk down another 10 minutes or do I fish a new spot? Oh, no. What do I do? Mr. Flounder. Nice. My spot was just around the corner. <laughs> it's right here. So it was like, just like a one minute walk. So I'm back to my favorite spot. Nice. Clean this up. I'm in my new water suit. About 200 bucks. Let's get to it. Quite a nice setup here. As you can see, the wave is really high. Uh, you know, it's gonna recede a little bit later. Let me get this bait in. Got my two rod poles out. One here, one here. I got four rods, so just in case I need to do something. So I test out some stuff. This is the 6000 Battle 3. Got 80 pound liner for 60 pound uh, mono for bayfish. Good weapon, first cast of the day. 16 scope. Gotta jig it very lightly and come in slow. If you hear like two thumbs, three thumbs, that's when you set the hook. I bet you just found it in there, man. I mean, the water's not really rough right now. I see something in over there in front of me. Oh, there we go. Ooh, just had a bite. Just had a bite. I think there might be something on this one. I'm not sure. Oh. Hey, what is this? It's not good. 
Yeah, it's going away. Oh, yeah, I got something. Still waiting for that first flounder. Uh, it's calmed down a lot. The wind's not that bad. It's supposed to be 25 miles per hour. Right now, I don't feel it. The rain is not that bad. It seems like the tide is still raising, so I don't know. I just gotta watch out. I know there's some traps down here for my half ounce jig head. I don't have my rod to keep moving down over there. Like there's a fish. Mm. We'll see. I need to buy some new gear, some more gear. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, flounder. Get hooked on. Let me have some fun. I might switch my bucktail. You know my expensive ass bucktail. I'm using these like two dollar fish eyes, half ounce jig heads. But the bucktail never fails because it's so enticing, you know, with the white hair fluffing and spinning with the green gold. Uh, let's try the orange one. The green one's not working. I still haven't tried the white bucktail yet. It's Saturday. It's raining non-stop. I have like four layers of clothing on. I don't feel cold. I got chemical gloves on. It's my day off, man. I gotta go fishing. I gotta go fishing, man. I'm not gonna have a Saturday off tomorrow, you know? Tomorrow's Sunday. I'm fishing tomorrow, too. I'm driving up two hours to somewhere else and try a new uh, fishing pier so yeah man I got fish I love the rain man it keeps my hands clean look I can clean my hands yeah I just want to catch some flounder man and get at least one keeper you know but either way just give me some fish let's go oh. right. here's the secret weapon I have no choice but to use my bucktail the half ounce jig that was work for me, but they all sold out. I'm trying to get more, but they're like five dollars a piece. But no bad a uh, supply of them. This combination has always worked out for me here. This Andres uh, half ounce bucktail. Just worry about the traps. You know, me losing it. I lost a lot here. <laughs> There's a trap here in front of me, but <sighs> shit. Ah, oh, feels so nice. It sinks so smooth. Using a 20 pound braid, uh, it's a four strand. There's no need to use a strand because it's so light, it's gonna go far regardless. I think, but it's not worth three, triple the price, right? Instead of like, you know, 10 bucks, you might be paying 25 for 547 yards. It feels so amazing. As soon as I cast it out. It's so sensitive, the, the book tail, you know? Like, give me some action. So personally, I'm not too sure the flounder's here yet. This part of uh, Jones Beach. Last time, it came around like July. And they got bigger as they got to August and September. But like if they there was there, if there's like flounder here, it would have bit my gulp tail off a few times already. But really nothing is biting. Except seaweed and my bait, my shred, bunker, and clam is getting eaten on the bottom, see? So my tail's still on. Nothing is chasing it, nothing is biting it, so. The flounder might not be here yet. They might be still deep in the ocean. Or fall off to the east. But we'll keep testing. We have probably five more hours, hopefully. I wish it was 10. I don't mind staying here. 
until I die, you know. I think I caught a skate. It was moving a little bit. It should be a skate. Oh, the don't tell me that. Yeah, it's a skate. It's not a flounder. <laughs> Baby skate. At least I caught something. You know? Something was eating my stuff. I need to go into the steam basket for you. Skate. Oh, finally caught something. Been like two hours here. <laughs> It's fun to catch anything, as long as there's life on the water, but... Can you guys leave and give me some flounder? The smaller skate, maybe 12, 13, 14 is long with the tail. Probably 14, 15 inches. It's gonna go in the cooler and be fed to some people who like to eat them, like... All washed up, ready for the cooler. I got her And just take one or two small ones. I don't want them to get too heavy in case I catch other stuff here. Because it gets dirty and messy. We can be a boy. Have fun.
like I knew I caught something. Felt a little bit heavy. <laughs> Turns out it's a uh, big old Mr. Spider Crab. Maybe we can feed that seagull. Okay, he felt a little bit hungry. So, did you get hooked on? Oh my god. It's not too bad. It's a shadow wound. I hope that bird comes and eats him. Let's try to eat my stuff, huh? Maybe it's picking up. Not a lot of fish. It's a lot of wind. It's too windy. Wasn't too bad. Imagine summer was like 89 degrees. It's so easy to do this, you know. Even like this would rain or something. It's not rain and cold, but it would be easy. It's weird. Is that a skate? Yeah, looking on it. Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Another baby skate. Yeah, I like these, man. Nice and tiny. Somebody's gonna steam it. Alright, just caught like two skates. No flounder, just letting you guys know. This thing is coming apart. Yeah, this, no flounder at all. I'm testing it out for you guys. No flounder yet. Maybe in the next, when it gets hotter, it's like 47 degrees. Maybe when it's like 70 degrees, one of these days. Oh man, we really want to get some flounder today. So, uh, it's actually a short walk back to my car. Maybe five minutes, so it's not too bad. I mean, it looks like I'm carrying a lot of stuff, but it's not too bad. It's not, it's not that heavy, you know. Out. It's a good fun experience. Nice. Ready to go up the I can wash my boots. If I get in the car. Nice. Just hope nobody pistons here. There's a lot of animals out there. Uh, it was uh, it was raining all day. It wasn't that bad. I think the wind was the worst. Um, there was no absolutely no flounder there yet. I think by maybe mid June they'll be here. They they probably don't come to uh, the west end of Jones Beach that early. So we're gonna keep trying, but you know there was uh, skate fish or this skate around there but and there's definitely striper right throughout the whole day but it wasn't that bad it was pretty fun uh you going for flounder they're out there somewhere right maybe three thousand feet offshore uh, it's a good experience I, I i don't mind the rain i kind of wish the rain was a little bit like more because you can wash my hands better and faster you know but overall, it was fun. I'm not too sure you guys should try out. I was dressed very comfortably, you know. 
and put some new stocking waters and some very lightweight uh, stocking uh, water boots. Uh, it was a Compass 360 brand. It's really light. I bought a size bigger than normal, right? Normally I wear medium, so I bought the large, and it was so flexible and loose. I was so comfortable in them. Uh, all waters will get water in them after a little bit. If you're in the water all the time and then you're stepping over something and there's some pressure. So just be careful, you know, just make sure you have a change of clothing just in case. Bring some sweatpants. And that's about it. Take care.